Namaste students. I am Hans Kumar Sharma, Assistant Professor, Faculty of Law and Governance, JOP Vidya and Students University. I welcome all of you in all my lectures and initiated by JOP Vidya and Students University. Earlier, we have discussed about the force and criminal force. Today, we are going to discuss about the assault. It is defined in the section 351 of the Indian Penal Code. To understand what is assault, one must be well versed with what is force and criminal force. And as I told you, we have discussed about the force and criminal force uh, in earlier sessions. So according to uh, section 351 of IPC, whoever maps any gesture or any preparation intending or knowing it to be likely that such gesture or preparation will cause any person present to apprehend that he who makes the gesture or preparation is about to use criminal force to that person is said to commit an assault. I repeat, whoever maps any gesture or any preparation intending or knowing it to be likely that uh, such gesture or preparation will cause any person, person to apprehend that uh, he who maps that gesture or preparation is about to use criminal force to that person is said to commit an assault. There is an explanation It says that mere words do not amount to an assault, but the words which a person uses may give to his gesture or preparation such a meaning as may make those gestures or preparations amount to an assault. We can understand it through some illustrations which are available in uh, the act. Illustration A says that A shacks his faced at Z, intending or uh, knowing it to be likely that uh, he may thereby cause Z to believe that A is about to strike Z. A has committed an assault. Illustration B A begins A B uh, begins to unloose the muzzle of a cautious dog intending or knowing it to be likely that he may thereby cause Zach to believe that he is about to cause the dog to attack Zach. A has committed an assault on Z. A tacks up a stick saying to Zach, I will give you a beating. The station C says that A takes up a stick saying to Zach, I will give you a beating. Here, through the words used by A could in no case amount to an assault, and through the mere gesture. Combined by any other circumstances, might not amount to an assault. The, the gesture explained by the words may amount to an assault. Uh, what are the essentials of assault? These are some essential elements uh, we discuss uh, which, to, which to prove an assault has been committed. Uh, there must be a gesture or a preparation map to use criminal force. A uh, gesture or preparation must be made in the presence of a person uh, against whom it is being made. There must be an intention or knowledge uh, that such gesture or preparation would cause apprehension in the mind of the victim that criminal force would be used against him. 
and the actual cause of apprehension of use of criminal force against him in the mind of the victim. Now, question arises that uh, what is uh, gesture or preparation? This actually makes it clear that uh, words are not enough to constitute an assault. There must be some gesture or preparation uh, for the use of criminal force, then only it will amount to an assault. Some institutions in this action itself help us to understand what a gesture or preparation can be. Like shaking first, which shows the preparation to strike someone, and lifting a stick uh, with a uh, warning sign shows that the accused is ready to hit the victim with the stick. Only uh, unloosening a process dog to cause that dog to attack someone becomes a gesture to use criminal force against the victim. So, uh, further, uh, the Uh, I would like to say that the apprehension of criminal force is itself an essential of assault but is also associated with the two main requirements to complete the assault. Firstly, the gesture of prepar or preparation made against the victim must be done in the victim's presence which is uh, close enough to create an apprehension in uh, the mind of the victim. For example, uh, if uh, an accused uh, pointed out a gun against the victim who knows that he is a far beyond the reach of the gun show is not an assault as the person's presence is too remote to cause an apprehension of the use of criminal force secondly uh, as said earlier uh, that uh, the apprehension of use of criminal force must be actually a cost thus the gesture of uh, or preparation must be such uh, which would have an effect on such apprehension and it uh, must uh, occur in the present and immediate state, not at uh, some latter point and further if uh, there are mere threats, then that will not be causing an apprehension. Those threats would not constitute an assault. For example, a neighbor threatening uh, to beat the people for throwing balls at their courtyard while playing will not amount to an assault. What is the punishment for offences of assault or criminal force? This is a very important uh, uh, term now uh, to discuss. The punishment for assault or criminal force is divided into two categories. And the punishment of, of assault and uh, criminal force is divided into two categories in the penal code of the media. Without grave provocation and uh, with grave provocation. These are two categories. In section 352, the law describes the punishment for assault or criminal force otherwise than on grave provocation. And section 358 describes the punishment for assault or criminal force on grave provocation. So section 352 itself clears it out with an explanation that grave and sudden provocation is not used as a mitigating factor if the offender had sought to or voluntarily provoked people acting lawfully and people exercising private defense if provoked will not be a mitigating factor such provocation where the capable of uh, mitigating is dependent upon the question of fact Sometimes question arises that uh, what is the difference between assault, criminal force and hurt? Uh, basically all three terms are defined separately and are different. Uh, they are the stages leading to the commission of a crime and uh, might affect differently. Assault is a preparatory act which causes apprehension of use of criminal force but may not require the actual use of criminal force. It creates a fear in the minds of the victim of uh, violence against him as intended by the accused. 
the moment chemical force is used that they are uh, acting beyond a sort as it causes motion or change in motion or succession of motion without consent. Thus, the motion in proof further leads to any pain or bodily injury. Such result is known as hurt, as defined in the section 343 of IPC. Hence, the offense is uh, termed as hurt when the injury or pain is caused. Further, uh, section 353 deals with the offense of assault of uh, criminal force to that of a public servant. Discharging is due because the work given to the public servant is often obstructed and uh, vulnerable to risks. The law, therefore, urges to protect the public servant from such assault or criminal force and he is entitled to be protected while discharging his duties. Thus, when a person is not discharging his uh, lawful duty, is not entitled to any kind of protection under this section. Further, the accused may not be charged under this section if he is merely resisted. A lawful public servant who is acting on the orders of his senior, which are illegal, is not protected by the section even though he is innocent about the illegality of the orders. Public servant who is discharging his functions must not be merely acting in an authority, but he but to be deterred, then only the accused will be liable under this section. Then uh, assault or criminal force to a uh, woman out trading her modesty, section 354 deals with it. Section 354 deals with the offense of assault or criminal force to whom with intent to outrage her modesty. This action requires the accused not to assault or use criminal force but to do so with either intention or knowledge to outrage her modesty. The law has not defined what they mean by outraging the modesty of the human. It is considered as a womanly property of behavior. Scorpio's chastity of thought, speech, and conduct reserve or sense of shame proceeding from intensity, aversion to impure or coarse suggestions. But again, it depends upon the facts and circumstances of each case. For not only to determine the charge on the accused, but also uh, what was the victim's role, so that the act done was to be judged solely as an intentional act of the accused. Further, Section 354B deals with the offense of assault or uh, use of criminal force to a woman with intent to disrupt. It was added in the amendment of 2013 and was made more so. It is an act of disrobing a woman against her will and is uh, so much graver, graver than uh, just outrading the modesty of a woman. Section 355 of IPC deals with the offense of assault or use of criminal force with an intent to dishonor a person otherwise than or a grave wrong. The section does not cover the separation made by senior to its junior as it is just to have supremacy and no intention to insult or dishonor. And the task of intention may be dependent upon how gross the insult was. And then uh, section 356 deals with assault or criminal force in attempting to commit uh, theft of property carried by a person. The act of assaulting or using criminal force is punishable under this section uh, if uh, it is uh, done during an attempt to commit theft of the property which the victim is wearing or carrying. Because the commission of theft will make this action 
can be navigated. Now, section 357 deals with the assault or criminal courts and attempt wrongfully to confine the person. The section focuses on the assault or use of criminal force and attempting to confine a person wrongfully. Section 354A, 354C, and 354D are specifically added as many cases were affecting the decency of the criminal. All these were added through the Criminal Amendment Act 2020. And uh, Section uh, 354A deals with sexual harassment and punishment of sexual harassment. And, uh, D deals with stalking. So, uh, it's a sufficient for today. Uh, now, we will uh, discuss in uh, our upcoming uh, online lecture with a new topic. Uh, thanks for watching.